people can survive, and I'll tell you what, they can't. They cannot with this slate of hate that you all have introduced this session. The suicide rates are outrageous. You know it. You seem to not care. Not a one of you have talked about it. What is the intent of this bill? What is the point? I'll send you all the Journal of Adolescent Health article that I referenced last time so that you all can have it before you vote on the floor today. To know once again that nearly 50% of our queer kids have thought about suicide and nearly 20% of the trans kids have attempted it. Heartbreaking statistics to be sure. Republicans aren't concerned with protecting the children because if they were, they would be gravely concerned with the astronomically high rate, 82%, of trans youth having considered suicide. What about those children? Last Thursday, Kentucky Republicans passed Senate Bill 150, which prohibits school personnel from using the preferred pronouns of trans individuals, thereby erasing the valid existence of trans people altogether, denying them their constitutional rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But this is what the Republican parties become. This is what they have to do to survive by scoring points among their bigoted base to own the libs by demonizing an entire group of people, even trans youth, in order to score political points. And they all clap like seals as soon as they hear protect the children and transphobia. It's disgusting. It's because Kentucky Republicans aren't interested in governing. They have no plans to fix the economy, healthcare, or education. Kentucky ranks 41 overall in all the states, 44 in healthcare, and 48 in fiscal stability. Yet they would rather spend multiple committee hearings talking about pronouns. The shocking statistic of 82% of trans youth considering suicide should shock outrage and gravely concern you. I mean, just listen to the heartbreaking testimony from Kentucky State Senator Karen Berg, who lost her trans son two months ago to suicide. Take a look. Your vote, yes, on this bill means one of two things. Either you believe that trans children do not exist, or you believe that trans children do not deserve to exist. Which one is it, MAGA Chuds? Are you willfully ignorant, denying the existence of trans people as somehow a myth? Or are you actively willing to deny the rights of trans kids, their freedom and constitutional rights as Americans? Which one is it? Like Republicans, you are obsessed it's creepy, it's gross, it's disgusting. It's like you're almost trying to groom kids towards not being trans, towards not being who they are. Did you all know that data shows Republicans are obsessed with looking up trans porn? Why am I not surprised? Just watch as this Kentucky state senator rips into the morality of Republicans. Take a look. We don't even gotta post the, the constitutional amendment, but we have time for two hearings on pronouns, think about what you're doing, okay? Is it right or is it wrong? Is it, is it right or wrong to punish these poor, powerless, defenseless children and their families, okay? It's been an honor to sit here. Thank you. Thank you. 100%. Look, using someone's preferred pronouns is about respect. It's not that hard. Also, you do not have to agree with a person's trans existence to be respectful and use their correct pronouns. Also, whether you agree or not is completely irrelevant because someone's trans existence does not affect you or your life. And just remember, as your mother always said, respect your neighbor as yourself. Thank you for joining me on The Breakdown. My name is Scott Johnson. You can find more of me on my TikTok, which is in the description link below, as well as my YouTube, where I post my longer form content called The Gays, pun intended. It's pretty awesome. You should totally go check it out. And most importantly, do not forget to smash that follow button to The Breakdown, where you can see more from independent creators like myself. These videos are pretty awesome. You know you want to binge watch them.